today we're going to be changing the PCV valves in an N62 V8 engine. First thing we're going to do is use our Torx bit to remove the engine cover from the top of the engine. Next we'll remove the two vanity covers. There's one on each side that just pops in above each valve cover. Now we have access to the plastic cap that covers the PCV valve. And here is the part number for the new valve kit. Okay, so we'll use a small flathead screwdriver to pry off the small plastic clips that go around the entire diameter of the plastic cover. Then we just lift up and remove the valve and the plastic cover from the top of the valve cover. Now is a good time to inspect the rubber diaphragm and see if it has any cracks or tears that may have caused some problems uh, for the car. Next we'll clean out any residue with a rag. We'll insert the new spring into the top of the valve cover. We'll carefully insert the rubber diaphragm into the valve cover. Be sure to carefully seal the lip all the way around the edge. I usually go around a couple of times to make sure that it's seated properly and doesn't get pinched. Next we'll install the plastic cap and make sure that you align each of the small plastic clips with each other so that you ensure each one is clipped tightly and securely. Next I'll take some dielectric grease to lubricate the plastic nubs underneath the vanity cover. That will help the plastic nub pop into the rubber mounting point on top of the valve cover. Now if you skip that step, these can be really tricky to get back into place. And now we'll go on to the driver's side. Again, remove the vanity cover from the top of the valve cover. Release the plastic clips all the way around the diameter of the PCV valve. And remove the rubber diaphragm and spring. Again, inspect the rubber diaphragm to see if there's any tears or damage to the original unit. We'll clean out any oil residue with a rag. Install our new spring from the new kit and place the new rubber diaphragm into the top of the valve cover. Again, being very careful to make sure that the rubber seal is seated properly into the valve cover. And place our plastic cap back on top, ensuring that it snaps securely all the way around. Next I'll take some dielectric grease to lubricate the plastic nubs underneath the vanity cover. That will help the plastic nub pop into the rubber mounting point on top of the valve cover. And finally, we'll reinstall the plastic engine cover and install the four torque screws that hold it into place.